So let's talk about the surface area of cylinders. And um, recall that when we've talked about surface area before, um, to find the surface area, what you had to do was find the area of each side of the figure and then add them all together, okay? Which is the same for cylinders. Um, but with a cylinder, sometimes it's harder to picture the actual, like what the sides look like. And so it is helpful to look at the net of the cylinder. So the net is just what the cylinder looks like when it's all cut and um, cut up. So the top and the bottom of the cylinder, that's pretty easy. Those are both circles. So you have these two circles and they'll have a radius of R, um, which you can use to find the area of both the circles. They'll be the same size circle. So you only have to find the area of one of them and then double it. And um, the height of this um, cylinder is going to um, be the height of your rectangle. So um, this is actually, when you cut it up and unwrap it, it is a rectangle. So if you think about like a can of soup, and the label that goes around the can of soup, when you take that off, it does unfold into a, a rectangle. And the height or the width of that rectangle, and it would be the same as the height of your cylinder. Okay, so the tricky part is knowing what's the length of this rectangle, because there's not anything else labeled here telling us how far around the circle, um, which would tell us the length of our rectangle. So we have to think a little harder about this one, and, and so before you cut this up, right, to make um, a net, okay, it was all wrapped up, okay, and this part from here to here went around the circle. So that tells me the length from here to here is the same distance as the circle, as all the way around the circle. So what is that called when you find the distance around a circle? It's called the circumference, right? And we know that the circumference is 2 times pi times r, or pi times the diameter. So when you're finding the surface area of a cylinder, that's gonna be important to remember, okay? You're gonna have these two circles, and you're gonna have one rectangle, okay? Which is found by multiplying the height of the cylinder times the circumference of the circle. All right, so there are two types of surface area. You have the total surface area. That's when you add both circles and the, air, and the rectangle. Okay, and then you have the lateral, like lateral on a person, laterals, sides, or the rectangle only. So in the um, a cylinder, the side is just considered that, that part that goes around it, so the rectangle only. All right, let's look at this first example. Determine the lateral and total surface area of the cylinder and then round to the nearest tenth. All right, so we were, lateral is just the rectangle. All right, so it's the circumference, this top part here, the circumference of my circle. So 2 times pi times the radius, which in this case is 2, and then the height is my is the other dimension of my rectangle. So to find the area of this part, base times height, I just multiply these together. All right, so I'm going to multiply to find the area 2 times pi, which is really 3.14 times 2, and then times this part, times 7. Okay. So to make this a little simpler, I'm gonna multiply some numbers first before I multiply by 3.14. So I can see that I can do two times two, that's four. I can do four times seven, that's 28. And then I can multiply by 3.14. So I'm gonna have 3.14 times 28, and that's two, three, 11, 24, 25. Start with a zero, two times four is eight times one is two, times three is six, and then add those up. So I get eight, seven, nine, two, and there are two decimals here, so two decimals here. So my lateral surface area was 87.92. It's asking me to round to the nearest tenth, so that's just gonna round to 87.9, since two is not more than five. And then this is being measured in meters. So this is gonna be square meters for a lateral surface area. All right, the total surface area is going to take my rectangle, which is 87.9, and add both the circles. All right, so now I need to know the area of the circle. So I know to find the area of a circle, I use pi r squared. Okay, so in this case, r is 2. So I'm going to do 3.14 times 2 squared. Okay, 2 squared just means 2 times 2, so that would be 4. So I'm just going to multiply 3.14 times 4. Okay, which is 16, 5, and 12, 12.56. Okay, and then there are two of those, right? There are two circles, so I'm gonna do 12.56 times 
times 2 gives me 12, 11, 5, and 2, 25, point one and 2. All right, so these are my two circles, and then I need to also add my rectangle, so add it to the 87.92. And I'm actually going to add it to the number I got before I round it, because it's better to not round into the very end. So I'm going to use um, as, um, as most accurate a number as I can until the very end. So then this is 4, 10, 12, 13, 11. All right, so I get 113.04, and now I'm rounding to the nearest tenth. So my total surface area will just be 113. You can put 0, .0 or you can just leave it off. And this is in square meters. Okay, so total surface area. Let's look at the next example. You have a cylinder. Okay, we're finding lateral and total. So I'm going to start with lateral since I need lateral to find total anyway. So if I do the lateral surface area, I'm thinking of this rectangle, which I know is the circumference. So the circumference of this circle is 2 pi r. And what is r? So the 14 is the diameter. So radius would be half of that, 7. And then the uh, width of my rectangle is the height of my cylinder. So that would be 10. So for lateral surface area, I'm going to do 2 times 3.14 times 7 times 10. All right, I like to simplify all this first. So I'm going to do 2 times 7 is 14 times 3.14 times 10. I'm going to do 14 times 10 and get 140 times 3.14. And then I'm going to go ahead and multiply times 100, I mean times 3.14. So 140 times 3.14. Is 0, 16, 5. Start with a 0, 0, 4, 1. Start with two zeros, 0, 12, 4. Add those up, 0, 6, 9, 3, 4. Two decimal places. All right, so my lateral surface area is this number here. I'm rounding to the nearest tenth, which is just going to be 0.6. Okay, and then this is in centimeters squared. All right? And then I still need to find the total surface area. So now I need to add my two circles. So to find the total surface area, the two circles are going to be pi r squared, so 3.14. And we already said the radius is 7, and it's squared, so that would be 7 times 7, which is 49. Go ahead and do that. 3.14 times 49. 36, 12, 27, 28. Start with a 0, 16. 5, 12, add those up, 6, 8, 13, 5, and 1. There are two decimal places. So 153.86, and then there are two of them, right, because you have two circles, two bases. I need to do that times 2. 153.86 times 2 would be 12, 16, 17, 7, 10, 3, and two decimal places is 307.72. There's my two circles. Add it to my rectangle to get the total. Add a zero so I can line everything up. So 2, 13, 17, 4, and 7. Bring down your decimal. Then round to the nearest tenth would be 0.3. This is still in square centimeters. So again, lots of math. Just make sure you're doing everything um, correctly, not leaving anything out. All right, number two. A circular fence that is five feet high is to be built around the outside of a carousel. Okay, so remember, carousel is just like one of those amusement park rides that go in a circle, the horses. The distance from the center of the carousel to the edge of the fence will be 35 feet. What is the area of the fencing material that is needed to make the fence around the carousel? Okay, so we're not talking about a can or anything, but a carousel is a circle, right? And then if they're making a fence, right, that's going to stand up. Okay, so it's the part going around the carousel. Um, so we're finding the, the part around it, but we're not finding the part above it or the part below it. So if we're making a fence, we just want to go around the, the cylinder, basically around the circle. But we're not going to find the area of the top and bottom because you don't fence. You don't put a fence at the top of the carousel, and you don't put one underneath it. So really what we're finding here is your lateral surface area, which is just the rectangle, right? All right, so it says that the fence is 5 foot high. So that tells me my 
rectangle is five feet. And then the distance from the center to the edge is 35. Okay, so that is a radius. So when I'm finding the length of my rectangle, that's the circumference, so two pi times the radius, which in this case is 35. All right, so to find the area of this, I'm just gonna multiply base times height. So two times 3.14 times 35 times five. All right, so I'm gonna make this simple before I start multiplying. So I'm gonna do two times five, that's 10. And then I could do 10 times 35, that's 350. And then I can do 350 times 3.14. A zero, zero, zero. Oops. Start with a zero is 27. Five times three is 15. Start with two zeros. Four times three is 12. Four, three times one is three plus one is four. Three times three is nine. Add those up, you get zero, zero, nine, nine, ten. There are two decimals, so two decimals here. So my lateral surface area, or the fence material that I'm gonna need, is 1,099. And this is measured in feet, so this is going to be in square feet, okay? All right, so that is surface area of cylinders, okay? You've got your two circles on top and bottom. you got your rectangle around um, the cylinder. And just remember that the length of that rectangle is the circumference of the circle. All right, see you soon.